Every summer, our raspberry bushes always produce so much that we take enjoyment out of finding ways to use them up. In this video, I am going to show you five ways to use up garden raspberries, both fresh from the bush or from frozen. These recipes are staples during this time of year when raspberry harvest begins. All of the recipes that I am sharing today will be in the description box below. Before we get into these healthy and easy raspberry recipes, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel so that I can continue making these videos for you. Let's get cooking! The first way we love to use our garden-grown raspberries is in these raspberry almond oatmeal bowls. We eat this for breakfast at least two times a week, and the bowls are flexible to variation depending on what produce is in season. My favorite brand is Better Oats. Make up your oatmeal packet as per package instructions. Decorate the top with your fruit, nuts, yogurt, seeds, and honey. Simple as that. The second recipe we are going to make is healthy lemon raspberry muffins. I've made these a number of times and they are perfect for breakfast, packed lunches, or as a snack with coffee or tea. I forgot to show it, but don't forget to grab a lemon. Sift together your dry ingredients first. Then whisk together the maple syrup and coconut oil. Whisk in the eggs, vanilla, lemon zest, and yogurt. We're going to combine the liquid mixture into the dry mixture. Stir it up a little bit and then fold in your frozen raspberries. Then bake them for about 18 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees. For the third recipe, I'm going to pick some fresh parsley from the garden because we are going to make one of the most delicious salads I have ever had. Spinach raspberry with gorgonzola and candied walnuts. I found this recipe from the blog Lelita's Recipes. Of course you can buy candied or honey roasted walnuts from the store, but I'm quickly going to candy some walnuts of my own by warming the nuts in sugar and butter on the stovetop for about 5 minutes. Next, to prepare the dressing, combine your olive oil with your flavored balsamic vinegar. If you can find raspberry flavored balsamic vinegar, then that's perfect. I have pomegranate already on hand, and any fruity flavor or even regular balsamic vinegar will be good. Add a pinch of fresh ground pepper and salt and shake it all up. The rest is pretty straightforward. Toss everything together and enjoy. The fourth recipe I'm making is balsamic glazed salmon, and on the side, to make it a full meal, I will cook up some zucchini and mashed sweet potatoes. This recipe is courtesy of the Real Food Dietitians. First, we start by making the raspberry glaze that goes over the salmon. Nothing makes a kitchen smell better than sizzling garlic on the stovetop. Add the dates to the pan, as well as the balsamic vinegar and raspberries. I'm sprinkling 
sprinkling in some thyme leaves and salt and pepper to taste. I have my thawed salmon on a broiler pan and I'm spreading the raspberry glaze over them. You can save some of the glaze aside to serve with the fish once it's done. Pop them in the oven and it's like a pescatarian Thanksgiving in July. final recipe is raspberry shortcakes. Ever since I was really little, my mom would make these with whatever berries we had on hand, or sometimes even a combo of different fruits. On hot summer nights, we would often eat these alongside scrambled eggs or sausage, just like breakfast for dinner. We're having them for dinner tonight with vegetarian sausage. We've got our raspberries that we froze as you can see here. To make the shortcakes, combine the bisquick, sugar, melted butter, and milk. You can either make this in a square pan and cut it into pieces to serve, or you can make little individual rounds like this. I love including lots of the syrup from the raspberry mixture because the shortcake soaks it all up and it's so yummy. These taste great with fresh mint sprinkled on. Don't forget the whipped cream or vanilla ice cream. I hope this video helped give you some ideas on how to use your garden raspberries, or at least gave you some cooking inspiration. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which recipe you'd like to try. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.